What's going on, guys? Uh, this is the big cowboy, Ron Bell Jr. And if I love wrestling, and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. See you later. Welcome to We Love Wrestling On Spot. Today, we are going to be talking to a few competitors who will be competing in the Generation Championship Wrestling 15 Legend of the Medallion. We are with a second generation wrestler. You may have heard of his dad, but you're going to hear more about him. This is Ron Bass Jr. How are What's you up, my man? How are we doing? I'm doing good. Uh, good, man. So, so let me just ask you the first question I always ask is for sure. why, why do you love wrestling or what started your love for wrestling? So, I mean, I think it's kind of obvious. <laughs> I don't think it's, I think it's a little obvious if, if, if you're not paying attention. Wrestling is literally my blood. It's my life. Um, just early, like as long, as long as I can remember just going into my dad's room, like, dad, what tape can we watch today? Like, Hey, can I, what, like, what are we watching tonight? Cause he always was, just, he always made, he was, he was cool with me watching wrestling as long as it was what, what, I, what I wanted. He never forced me into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's shocking. So he was cool if you watched it, but he never tried to force you to get into wrestling. No. You so, hear about, I know there are sometimes you hear the stories of other second gens where like their parents, like their parents drilled them into wrestling. My dad was like, nah, I'm not going to force you as long. If it's what you want to do, then go for it. If it's what you want to watch, go for it. But like, I'm not going to force it. So let me. How long have you been wrestling now? Uh, I've only been wrestling a year, uh, roughly a year and a half now. Oh, a year and a half. Oh, yeah. Where did you train at, or who trained? You? Um, I trained uh, in Tampa, Florida, under Jay Lethal and David Mercury. Oh, well, <laughs> if you don't know those <laughs> names, <laughs> I mean, exactly. Right. <laughs> that says yeah. a lot right there. And now, well, now we have a third trainer at the school, so I train with him too. Is a uh, another name that you should probably know if you know enough about wrestling is a uh, Big Con, from uh, formerly known of the Ascension. <laughs> wow, I come from a pretty. I come from a pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm expecting a lot. I mean, you telling me this? I'm expecting a lot now. I'll, I will do my best. So. I, I I do want to go back to this. So you said your dad never forced you into it, but you did yeah. like watching it. So who were some of your favorites? Um, not not including your dad, but who were some of your favorites watching? <laughs> I I appreciate you appreciate you saying that because normally I always like to do when someone asks me that question. I'm like, what do you want, a biased or unbiased opinion? Because <laughs> obviously, bias is my dad's the best wrestler to ever come out of. I come into wrestling. No, doesn't matter who you are. Right. Um. So if we want to talk about, I mean, like favorites, like when I was watching tapes, uh, like my dad's old uh, VHSs and whatnot, you know, Dusty Rhodes uh, and uh, Tully Blanchard are two of my favorites because uh, my dad had a lot of Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling from Florida stuff. But then obviously growing up, becoming a kid and like a young adult, uh, I grew up in the, the SmackDown 6 era. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, uh, Big Evil, uh, Undertaker, that's like – that's my personal. That's my personal Undertaker, like favorite ver like yes. iteration of the Undertaker is American Badass, Big Evil. Like that's where I. On that's where I thrive thing. in wrestling. I remember, like I, I, my like I have a vivid memory of uh, John Cena's debut. You know, the ruthless aggression. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I remember, I remember all that. That. Yeah, those are good times right there. The SmackDown, yeah. oh, the SmackDown Six. The SmackDown Six, man. Uh, John Cena and Eddie in the in the parking lot brawl. Yes, that's yes. like yeah. Those are those are some of my earliest memories of uh of like like really vivid memories of wrestling. Ooh, so like that's what I grew up in. Like Raw was cool, but like as a kid, I had a bedtime, so I couldn't stay up and I'll watch all of Raw. <laughs> but SmackDown was on a Friday night; it didn't matter, so I could stay up and watch all of it. I totally understand that. My son uh, just got done with school. He's like, "Can I finish watching Raw?" I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> now, <Smart kid. laughs> I got to ask you this. Yeah, what's up? So GCW, they announced yeah. the the um, they announced their tournament. Yeah. You, um, I think you were announced this week as a late entry, or I was into the tournament. You'll be going up against. A guy who I saw at GCW uh, 13 here in Indianapolis, Solomon yeah. Stone. Solomon Stone. Uh, so <laughs> how do you feel about this? And do you know anything so, about it? So one of two things was going to happen. Okay. 
I don't know if you saw. I don't know if you saw what, what I had to say about GCW a couple weeks ago. Dude. The big cowboy. I was upset. I was mad. I was ready. So two things was gonna happen. Either I was gonna ruin this event or I was gonna win this event. So now they gave me the opportunity to win this event, and it, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't care if it's Solomon Stone or Solomon Grundy. He's just a stepping stone to get what I need to get. Mm. Yeah. And it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. Solomon Stone, Mr. Money, like big money, but for where, I, where I'm from, it ain't about money. It's about hands. Like, that's, and he's got to come see me. Oh, Ron, you, you, you're talking music to my ears right now. I can't that's wait. what to I watch, do. I can't wait to watch this event. So, got you. you'll be going for... Um, they tell me about this medallion cup. I saw it uh, when I was in Florida for GCW 14. It's like um, a money in the bank contract. So yep. if you win this, because I'm not going to throw anybody out there. I'm not picking anyone yet. If you win this, they say you can chance for any type championship that yep. they have. Um, <laughs> women's title, men's title, tag belt. So, so how do you feel about that? So that the, the opportunities are endless, obviously, there with that that type of thing. Um, man, that, that's a so I am I am I, I, I do seem like this big angry cowboy, Mr. Solo Monster, but I am I do I am in a tag team. So I have all like the possibilities are endless. There's Aaron Nova, Mr. Defender of Humanity. I've beat him before. <laughs> I've beat him before. It's no big deal. There's the tag team championships, the Metro Brothers. They're just they're 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 the 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 upstate New Jersey versions of me. They just like to talk trash and fight, but they can't see they can't beat me. Oh well, all right. And then there's 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 the, the prize, the top the top prize. I don't want tag belts as much as I love my partner, and I want to hold. But we're gonna hold gold everywhere eventually. And Aaron Nova, that's a walk in the park, but. The goal is Chuckles. That's the man, you know. He, Mr. Ring of Honor contract at one point. We haven't seen him in a while. He's he's unpredictable. He's charismatic. He's enigmatic, and that's what I want. That's that's where I'm going. Okay, I, I, I love to hear it. Um, th th talk about your point opponent. Yes, you know he he got the whole money gimmick. You know, yeah. got a lot of money and everything. Are you worried about him maybe paying somebody from the outside to help him out? Because you said you throw them hands. I do. I, I, I've seen some of his matches and some of his tactics, so it's something you have to be aware of. Look, man, I've been. Uh, you got. You got to understand. I was raised in this. Oh. Like I, I'm. I am. Pre I'm prepared for things of that nature because people try to do that to my old man. People are scared of the basses. That's all there is to it. People were scared of him back in the day. They were even scared of him up until the day he passed away. People were scared of that old man. And it's the same with me. You know, if, if, if he chooses to do that, I will be prepared for it. And if it, if, if, if it gets, it becomes too much of an issue, then we'll just, we'll have to kind of, we'll kind of have to take it, you know, day, like moment by moment, see what happens. Cause in the moment when the Cowboys temper gets a little loose, brother, you never know what's going to happen. Oh man. I, I, I want to see it get loose. I mean, I, <laughs> just truthfully, I want to see it get loose, and you just take everything to him because it's going to be a good night for this Medallion Cup on Saturday, January 16th in yep. Sanford, Florida. Yes, sir. CrossFit Exalted. Um, I believe tickets are still available. You can go tickets to Tickets are still available. I believe it's Eventbrite. I'm not 100% sure. Sanford, Florida. Eventbrite. If you don't go to GCW Wrestling dot com and yes. they have a link on there for you yes um so <clears throat> these are just quick wraps into the medallion cup i'm gonna ask you two last questions of well, course actually, one last question then i'm gonna have you put yourself over of course um i asked everybody this so the rocker stone coat <sighs> that that's not okay but <laughs> that's not okay it, it, i mean that's oh man, that's, that's not okay, man. I, that's I got it. So so I have to go with Stone Cold. I, I can't even. I, I I'm I'm like torn, man. This is rough. There's 
because there's just so much about both both guys that are like pivotal to a part of to part, pieces of the outlaw, the big the big outlaw. Because you know Stone Cold Stone Cold's the embodiment of outlaw. Thanks. There's no there there's no one more outlaw than Stone Cold. Yeah. There's no one more outlaw, outlaw than Stone Cold. Like there's not. But like you've heard me in this this quick little on the spot, you hear me in my promos. I like to talk my talk. And I learned I learned that from watching guys like like The Rock. But at the end of the day, I gotta go with Stone Cold because Smash Mouth, Outlaw in your face, that's what I do. And that's what Stone Cold does. And no one does it better than him, but I'm trying my best. There is no right or wrong answer to that. It no. came up one day doing a spotlight. And I said, let me just ask to see if people will actually answer this question. Man. Oh, I'll answer that's it. It's just answer. not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Although Aaron Nova would cuss me up and down because I didn't say Goldberg. <laughs> you got it's it's a, it's just a, it's a ju- it's an inside thing. Like he's if you've ever seen his posts. It's Goldberg everything. Nova, we, we, we'll talk about this at a later date, but <laughs> got my eye on you. Yeah. Um, now, the last thing that we do here, Ron, is called uh, Put Yourself Over Moment. This is where oh, you man. just uh, tell out to the people any social media you got, anything you got going on, any ways they can support you. If you want to cut a promo on the person that you're facing, oh, absolutely. you want to well, do, we just ask you to put yourself over. I've been doing that since the beginning. Saturday, it starts with Solomon Stone. Bell to bell, Solomon Stone can't see me. He's not bigger than me. He's not stronger than me. He's not meaner than me. He's not better than me. I'm not afraid of anything that walks, swims, flies, crawls, and I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of any of the guys in this tournament. That's, that's, that's just what it is. I said it, in the, I said it in previous promos. Mikey and Dante Task Force are scared of me. They're scared of us, my partner and I. The last time we were supposed to wrestle them, they had a last-minute tag team added to our match so they didn't have to touch us. And they didn't beat us. They beat the other guys. Mm. But I digress. You know, now that I've got that off my chest, I let them know. They know that I mean business. That's what I do. Uh, if you want to follow along with uh, Florida's uh, up-and-coming next second-generation superstar, I'm on Twitter and Instagram, at Ron Bass Jr. Real easy. Um, I've got shirts on fullygimmick.com. Just search for Ron Bass Jr. I've got this really cool uh, Japanese cartoon style T-shirt on with them, and yeah, support. We love wrestling. One of the GCW sponsors. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Well, well Ron, Saturday. Um, yes, wish you all the best in the tournament. I appreciate I'll be it. Watching on title match. Um, I, I can't make this one, but hopefully, I see you good. in the future. Shout out um, title match, by the way. They do they do good work. Yes, they do. They do oh. good work. I was in att- I was in attendance for uh, the women's tournament, and it was good. It was good work. Wait a minute. Did I meet you at the women's tournament? I don't think we met the women's tournament because uh, I was doing I was doing the favor because I have even though I'm a cowboy, I'm still a, a professional and uh, I have an ex- I have experience in professional videography and editing, so I was filming the show. Okay. So I, I remember seeing you. I, oh, I yeah, you we, saw just, we just didn't talk. So no. All right, that's cool. what well, next time I got I'll, you, Mr. Bass. We'll talk, absolutely. Um, so that's our closing again. Saturday title match network. If you're in the Stanford, Florida area, go to GCW Pro Wrestling Pro and buy some tickets. Yep. Support, support, support. Uh, Ron Bass Jr., we thank you for giving us. I thank you for giving us this time. Yeah, man. Anytime. Absolutely. And like I always say, guys, if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too sweet. Hey, guys. How you doing? You should be here. You should. Shame on you. But have a nice day.